everybody! So I couldn't figure out what the heck to make my next Let's Play because everything that I tried ended up failing or being too long to actually finish before the year ended. So instead I decided I was going to record some videos of me playing something that I had recently installed. This is Mario Kart Wii CTGP, which is an amazingly huge and awesome mod for Mario Kart Wii which adds like an insane amount of new content. So that's what we're playing today. We're gonna to be exploring a lot of the new tracks. I don't know if this is gonna be like an official Let's Play series, but I figured, hey, I could make some videos showing it off. And this is what I feel like doing. So here we go. I'm gonna go Grand Prix, uh, 150 for sure. That's the way to go. And I know there are a good amount of characters we can play as in Mario Kart Wii. However, we will be playing as the classical American hero, Bully Maguire. He's not the hero that we need, but he is the hero that we deserve. So, for those of you who don't know, Mario Kart Wii, yeah, it's a pretty popular racing game. It's one of those Mario Karts that's really stood the test of time and has a very, very loyal fan base. Loyal enough that they have made their own online servers, because Nintendo took down the original servers, added a whole bunch of new content, and if there's anything that you need to know about Mario Kart Wii, it is that bikes are completely broken, and inside drift is the way to go. So in other words, you're gonna want either the mock bike or the Dolphin Dasher if you are playing as a medium guy. Obviously, we're Bully Maguire, so I think mock bike makes a little bit more sense, and you definitely want manual. I also think a lot of the new tracks have been balanced for inside drift, so use the outside drift vehicles at your own uh, peril. So. Here we go. So we've got the, the normal tracks as well. We've got the Mushroom Cup, the Flower Cup, the Star Cup, the Special Cup, the Shell Cup, the Banana Cup, the Leaf Cup, and the Lightning Cup. These are all untouched. These are all of the original tracks. But we also have Blooper Cup, Big Mushroom Cup, Thundercloud Cup, Pow Block Cup, bob -omb Cup, Fake Item Cup, <laughs> Gold Mushroom Cup, Spring Mushroom Cup, yeah, as you can see, there's just, um, yeah, there's maybe just a couple of new tracks, not anything huge, right? <laughs> just a few, and also, this is not even all of the tracks people have made, they just cycle them in and out as it, things tend to go. So, we're starting out with the Blooper Cup. Got Don Township, GBA Cheap Cheap Island, DS Rainbow Road, and Sky Shrine. Let's try it out. Big shout outs to the people who actually made this mod because, oh my gosh, is it impressive. I've played several of the tracks already, but I'm excited to play some other ones today. Don Township, huh? <laughs> yeah, although it's the question mark cup. All right, so this looks like it's one of those one lap races. Cool. So it's just gonna be a giant course then. I am also generally used to playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which controls a bit differently and has just different physics, so I may not be playing as well as I normally would. I know I'm certainly not going to be playing as well as the super pros who are really good at this game. One thing I may may I request modding community. It's really impressive you're making all of these cool courses and all of these quality of life updates. Please allow me to change the controls on the GameCube controller because I hate touching the D-pad in order to wheelie or do tricks. That is really obnoxious and I don't know why the vanilla game had that as the default controls and you can't change them. Please allow us to change that. All right, this is pretty sweet. <laughs> It, this course looks really good, too. A lot of the custom courses, I think it's really easy to have that, like, kind of roughshod look. But this one looks pretty professional. Oh no, it's blooper. Whatever will I do? Alright, the CPUs mean business, though. Wow, we, we I forgot in Mario Kart Wii you can get red shells in first place. That just doesn't seem right. Man, they are desperately trying to take me down. All right, we're nearing the last turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're on like a glacier now. This is interesting. All right, this is a pretty cool first course. Very cool indeed. And that's the finish line, I guess. And <laughs> we blast off into uh, Neverland, I suppose. Wow. 
Well, obviously, Bully Maguire wins first. Oh, Donkey Kong's in last. He got zero points. All right, that's pretty good. That was a great start. GBA Cheap Cheap Island. There are a lot of the GBA tracks that were brought back for this, which I'm excited for. The Game Boy Advance had some pretty good tracks. The problem was the Game Boy Advance physics weren't very good. So I'm excited. Cheap Cheap Island. This is the one... Yes. This was in the uh, Lightning Cup. I love the GBA version. Hey, Bowser, move it. Alright. Move it, crab. Doggone it, he moved way farther than I thought he would. Why is there an invincible person already? Oh man, it's also nice not having coins. I hate the coin system. Please remove it from the future Mario Kart games. Also, I'm surprised there haven't been any blue shells yet. Maybe CTGP uh, lowered the frequency of blue shells. That would be very nice, actually. Oh, 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 unintentional shortcut. I'll take it, though. <laughs> oh, it's, that was probably accidentally really good. Yeah, look at, how the heck would you make that turn if you weren't in an inside drift bike? Like, how? All right, all right, this is pretty cool. Definitely think they changed a bit of this for uh, CTGP, but that's fine. The GBA tracks, I think, maybe need a little bit of update because they're very flat. What the heck? Oh, I thought that Cheap Cheap was swimming in the sand. Oh no, pow blocks. One thing that the, this game did is if you're playing, if you're hosting an online lobby, you can change some of the settings. Like, you can make it so that the thundercloud, instead of shrinking you at the end, will make you grow big at the end, which is a huge improvement. You can also make it so that you don't use the Thunder Cloud unless you physically push the button. It's pretty great. Uh oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's about how it should have gone last time. Take that, Bowser. Steens, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, bikes are so OP. I love the people who are like, I hate the new Mario Kart games because bikes stink. It's like, no, bikes don't stink in that game. They're just ludicrously overpowered in this game. Hot take, the, the people who say that Mario Kart Wii is the best Mario Kart are the same people who say that Super Smash Bros. Melee is the best Super Smash Bros. game. Neither of which are true, by the way. Don't get me wrong, I love Mario Kart Wii, but Mario Kart 8 is definitely better. Pretty much every Mario Kart game is better than the last. Not always. Oh wait, shoot, this is bad. Yeah, shoot. <laughs> that was made of cherry wood, which slows you down if you try biking over it. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Oh wow, we destroyed, even when we messed up at the end there. Alright, that was a good adaption of Cheap Cheap Island, I like that. Donkey Kong is not doing very well. Let's have a moment of silence for Donkey Kong. Alright, what's up next? DS Rainbow Road. Yes, this is the best Rainbow Road. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing! Holy moly! They, okay, this looks amazing. They, they don't normally have the skyscraper buildings for the DS Rainbow Road. It's normally just the road and, like, maybe some stars. Oh, I'm excited. DS Rainbow Road has always been my favorite Rainbow Road by far. Because it's the perfect mix of, like, difficult but also fun. I think a lot of the Rainbow Roads have a tendency to just be like, It's difficult, and that's it. Cough Mario Kart Week. Mario Kart Wii's Rainbow Road is objectively the worst Rainbow Road. I will fight people on this. It is terribly designed. Alright. Do we still get to do the corkscrew? That's what I want to know. Oh! That pipe looks like it's a shortcut now. Okay, we got the launch stars here, but they're not actually launching us. Oh, no, never mind. No, yes, they did.
Oh, we don't get to do the corkscrew anymore. At least we get the, to do the helix. Whoa! <laughs> I dodged the blue shell! <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Falling off is a lot more punishing in uh, any game that's not Mario Kart 8. Shoot, forgot about the pipe. Yeah, hey! No! This is this is how I remember Mario Kart Wii's power-up balancing was. Rats, he had a shell waiting. Give me something good. Triple bananas, nice. Okay, seriously? Yep. This is how I remember Mario Kart Wii. Blue shell every lap. Sometimes two. Oh, doggone it. Well, I didn't get to take the pipe shortcut. Oh, what? What is... Ba Baby Peach is stuck. Oh, no, 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 no she's not. I think she just fell, maybe. Alright. No problem. No, Baby Peach is stuck. She just keeps falling in the... the helix over and over again. Oh, I think the AI might be broken on that level just a wee bit. Just a little bit. Alright, final level for the Blooper Cup is Sky Shrine. Okay. Looks a little basic. It's just kind of a flat track, but at least it's got some nice pillar over aim and some torches. All right. There's just a lot of sky, but it is Sky Shrine, so here we go. This is an original level. Pretty simple track. With the Mushroom Gorge music. You can put custom music in this game, but you have you can only do it by overwriting the existing music, which is a shame. If I can figure out a way to do that, I will. Because you know me, I'm a big fan of custom music. Basically, any opportunity I can. Uh oh, that was bad. Yoshi. Steens doesn't it. see a chump. Oh yeah, someone else hit my uh, fake power-up. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty basic course. That would be a tight turn on uh, if I was fully grown. But there is the mini-map that you can use, so... Oh, expertly weave between the power-ups, yes. That's a cool dragon flying in this guy. That's really cool how they were able to add that into the game. Oh my gosh, that's a second one. They either added that in completely custom, or that's like a skin for another existing thing in the game. I bet if a mushroom you could like get on top of the roof. I'm not sure how, how useful that would be, but I bet you could. Oh yeah, we got such a big lead. I don't want to get new power-ups. I got triple bananas and a red shell. This is like the ultimate. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is not even a competition. What? This is like the easiest of all of the tracks. Why is this listed as the last track in the circuit? There may not be any rhyme or reason to the order in which they're put. Good red shell. 
I like this waterfall part. That's really cool. Uh-oh. Also, there's an alternate way you can take up here. Oh, uh -huh, I was one. I thought you could do a jump over that. That's cool. Man, playing on a GameCube controller. When I played Mario Kart Wii growing up, I always used the Wii wheel. Always. GameCube controller makes the game a lot easier. Although it is still super obnoxious to do wheelies or tricks with the D-pad. It's a pretty big flaw. No, don't think so. <laughs> Perfect circuit. Perfect, but perfect score doesn't necessarily guarantee you get a star. Mario Kart Wii was really strict about ranking. We win first! Oh, but we did get a star. I think in CTGP, for all of the new cups added, it basically treats all of them like they're the special cup. Which is, which is fitting, because they are all special. All right, that was a pretty good cup. Let's try another one. Maybe pick a different character. I love Bully McGuire, but... I don't want to play as a medium guy for the whole time. I mean, it is Mario Kart Wii, so... <laughs> the ultimate combo. Funky Calm Flame Runner. Manual, all right. Big Mushroom Cup. We got Sunset Forest, Jungle Cliff, Cartwood Creek, and Haunted Gardens. These are four completely original courses. I'm excited. Let's go. Sunset Forest. Okay. Oh, this looks pretty. It's a nice little forest. Got that nice sunset. Some big, some lush vegetation, a big mountain, and I saw some mushroom bouncy platforms. I hope those are done properly. Mushroom bouncy platforms can be done very improperly. Just look at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Mushroom Gorge. Alright, this looks like a very simple level. Whoa! Oh my gosh! What the heck? That was a massive jump. Oh boy, fake power up. Still better than coins! Whoa, my god, okay. They're pulling the, they're pulling the Donut Plains free treatment of, like, you kind of got to know where the turns are ahead of time. You gotta pay attention to that mini-map. Oh my gosh, these mushroom platforms are enormous! Are they, like, twice the size? Feels like it. That pow block actually messed things up a little bit. I wanted to save my mushroom. Okay. We aim this way this time. Maybe don't do a trick over that. What next? <laughs> Funky Call makes the best sound effects. He really does. Uh-oh. Couldn't tell if that dark part was off-road or if it was just a shadow. It's probably just a shadow, but I've treated it like it was off-road. Okay, this course is interesting. It's a little simple. But it looks pretty, so... I, I give it good marks. I'm gonna be pretty lenient with my rankings of the levels. That's a giant slope you go up. It's great. I love the giant Goombas as well. Whoa, that's a small Goomba. How did he get so small? Yeah, okay, that's just a shadow. Do your worst. Wow, it hit something else. Take that Goomba. Oh my gosh! 
I hit the Goomba and it shrunk into a smaller Goomba and dropped the mushroom. That's funny. All right, all right, that was a pretty fun course. Nothing too fancy. It is still one of the earlier new cups, so I anticipate more easier levels. Kind of surprised they had a Rainbow Road so soon, but maybe they don't even order it in terms of difficulty. Jungle Cliff. Um, okay, this looks pretty similar to the last one. You got the sunset, you got the jungle, but you've got some... Uh, okay, you've got some urbanization. All right, all right. I can get behind this. Ooh, okay, this course looks a bit more intricate. <laughs> Just looking at the mini-map. How would I be able... Oh man, it's so nice having green shells that don't lock onto you in this as well. My goodness. I gotta get Shaggy and the boys to play this. <laughs> um... Uh... Where was I supposed to go? The sign said go that way and it led me off road. What? Are the signs lying to me? Oh, I almost got the mushroom. The toad took it. Move it, Koopa. Oh, nice shot, Toad. Oh my woof! Okay, we got some we got some tight turns on this course. This is pretty fun though. I still don't know what they expect me to do with that one underground part though. Curses. One other thing you can do is you can actually drift while standing stock still, which is weird. You can get like the drift boost in that by do if you're standing still. Only in the weak. Okay, this is the weird part. The okay, I guess I can see where the computer players go. Oh, they're going down the. Oh, okay, that's that's kind of cool. I just wish that it was more obvious. That's what you have to do. That's like a, also an exceptionally tight turn. Oh, someone hit the the crate. That is with an inside drift bike, by the way. Yeah, the, this, these courses were definitely modeled after, like, you're in an inside drift bike, right? Toad? Doggone it. Okay, the CPUs are able to turn way more, than, way better than you. Donkey? I'm not losing to Donkey Kong. What? That bullet bill was not in the center of the road at all. Power-ups take an eternity to respawn in this. Give me something good. Okay, Mega Mushroom is really not going to cut it. Although it will let me cut through this area. I need something a little bit more, though. Actually, never mind. No, we don't. I was even do holding the brake button during that, and it still wasn't enough. And I'm in an inside drift button. How the heck are you supposed to take that turn? Oh, no, you don't. You are not beating me. Oh, come on! I hit the power-up! Okay, uh, that course had some good moments and some bad moments. I think the part where you have to drive through the creek, make it more clear that that's the way you need to turn. And then that one turn at the end is unfair. On 150. Like, you, you gotta, you gotta give us some leeway there. Other than that, though, pretty fun course. Cartwood Creek. This is a very flat course. 
Oh wait, is that barbed wire? That looks like a potential shortcut. Okay. It's like this open uh, meadow area by the river. Okay, okay. This is not something you normally see in Mario Kart, but this is this could be interesting. Oh, I love that double dash music. Okay, all right. Oh no, that, that's purely there for decoration. I saw there was a real fence behind it as well. Man, if you can't take that as a shortcut though, that's kind of a wasted opportunity. Apparently that was a jump. All right, cool, I'll take it. All right, pretty simple track, but I, I like simple tracks. I can get behind this one. I've also got a pretty good lead, so just... Now I will. Oh wait, no, there is a. So I got I got to check. I wonder if you were like mega or invincible if you could knock that gate down. If so, then that's an amazing shortcut. That's like a Lego Racer style shortcut right there, and that is like the highest compliment I can give a. If it, if you're a racing game and you've got shortcuts like Lego Racers, that is a huge compliment. Lego Racers had the best shortcuts in any racing game ever. Oh, I have a I have a mushroom. Okay, I'm gonna save it for the next. I'm gonna try to save it for the next lap and see if I can boost through the uh, through the gate. Where's you? This might cost me the first place, but this is more important. Wow, I am not doing well in this event. Really, ninth. No. Oh, the power-ups not spawn in for a long time. Okay, come on. What? Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm docking points for that. That 100% should have been a shortcut. It's such a waste. You literally put the shortcut in, and then you just said no. You don't actually get to take it though. What the heck? Still won first, though. Alright, I don't think I deserved that first place victory, but alright, I'll take it. <laughs> it still says I'm Bully McGuire, even though I'm Funky Calm. That's great. Bully McGuire has a new form. Alright, last track. It is Haunted Gardens. Ooh! I'm a big fan of the spook courses. Oh, this looks so cool! Dude, this looks so cool! I'm a big sucker for the like the spooky or haunted or castle themed courses in Mario Kart or in racing games in general, so I got high hopes for this. Oh, this sounds great. Oh, look at that map. Oh, shoot. I thought I was playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which uh, has a more lenient time for the boost. Or rather, you've got a whole game earlier. Okay, you got the classic piranha plants. Donkey Kong is too bigger. Alright. I thought we were going in the Haunted Mansion. Maybe we're going in a little later. Alright, I guess that kind of worked out. Boo! You boot. Whoa, is that a white chin chomp? That's kind of surreal seeing that. Oh! Wait, oh shoot. It looked like we were supposed to go through that gate. That gate was not open. Great peach. Uh oh. I'm out of here. I don't want to get hit by that thundercloud. Oh, oh, oh! What next? Okay, I thought we were going for a haunted house. 
It showed the inside of a haunted house on the, uh, the intro screen. What the heck? Wait, now... Wait. Wait, what? Oh my god, wait, they change it? Each lap is different? Oh, that's sick! Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. I don't know how they do that. How do you do that in Mario Kart Wii to get each lap to change? I mean, like, I guess Grumble Volcano has that, but... Not like this. What the heck? How do you do that? How would you program that in? I wonder if that means we'll be going for the gate on a different lap. Also, come on. Bomb box? Had that far back? Really? Okay, this course is awesome. I wish there was more inside the mansion rather than just like, you're exploring the toxic group outside the mansion. It's like, okay. There's a time and a place for that, I suppose, but... I think it would be cool. I, well, I guess the level is Haunted Forest. Or Haunted Gardens, actually. So, actually, no. With with the level name, it makes sense that you're spending most of your time in the gardens. This is still really cool, though. Are we going back inside the mansion again? It looks like we are. Ouch. Can we go in the mansion on an earlier lap? Let's see what the downstairs is. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're haunted statues of Peach and Mario and Daisy and Luigi. And they're, they're dancing like the ballroom ghosts from Haunted Mansion. That's freaking amazing. Oh, that's so good. This is instantly like a huge high tier course. Instantly. Not to say it doesn't have its issues, but... Is that... Okay, that looks like another thing that should be a shortcut, but isn't. I'm gonna dock- I'm gonna dock points for that. If- if there are ever points where it's like, oh, this looks like it's a shortcut, but it's not, I'm docking points for that. Still a really good course, don't get me wrong. But... It could be better. Can't give it that S tier. Also, there are bats on the other side of the road, so I will stick to that one. Alright! So that- those were four pretty good courses. Some were better than the others. They all had some issues, but I, on the whole, I'd say very well done, creators of those levels. Very well done indeed. These are these are quite fun. Yay! We won the special cup again. Yeah. Yep. That one hundred percent makes sense. Rank C, even though I got the highest point score possible because I went off road and fell off so much. Like I said, Mario Kart Wii, very, very strict with the rankings. Alright, well, that's just a taste of Mario Kart CTGP. I will try to play more in the coming days. Don't know how long I'll make this series go on for, and I don't know if this will be a full Let's Play. Because, like I said, they there are way more courses than what they have in the game out there, but they just kind of cycle some of the courses in and out. So, I'll be definitely playing some more, but I don't know how long I'll keep this up for. But I hope to see you guys for more Mario Kart CTGP in the coming days ahead. So, thank you for watching. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.